<clears throat> okay, we should be live. Welcome to day 16 for Advent of Code. Oh, day 16. Pro Bosch. Okay, I have no idea how you said it, but it sounds like it's part of a volcano. Um, let me pop out the chat before I forget. Yes. Let's pin the link for the challenge that we're doing. And uh, yeah, let's start reading the, the question. Um, the sensors have led you to the origin of the distress signal. Yet another handheld device just like the one the elves gave you. However, you don't see any elves around. Instead, the device is surrounded by elephants. Okay. They must have gotten lost in these tunnels and one of the elephants apparently figured out how to turn on the distress signal. The ground rumbles again, much stronger this time. What kind of cave is this exactly? You scan the cave with your handheld device and it reports mostly igneous rock, some ash, pockets of pressurized gas, magma. This isn't just a cave, it's a volcano. You need to get the elephants out of here quickly. Your device estimates that you have 30 minutes before the volcano erupts, so you don't have time to go back the way you came in. You scan the cave for options and discover a network of pipes and pressure release valves. You aren't sure how such a system got into the volcano, but you don't have time to complain. Your device produces a report, your puzzle input, of each value's flow rate, if it were opened, in pressure per minute, and the tunnels you could use to move between the valves. There is even a valve in the room uh, you and the elephants are currently standing in, labeled AA. You estimate it will take you one minute to open a single valve and one minute to follow any tunnel, from one valve to another. What's the most pressure you could release? For example, suppose you had the following scan input, uh, output. Um, AA has flow rate 0, tunnels lead to value DIB. Uh, okay, yes. So this pretty much builds a path from here to there. Um, all of the values begin closed. You start at valve A, but you must be, uh, but it must be damaged, jammed, or something. Its flow rate is zero, so there's no point in opening it. However, you could spend one minute moving to valve BB and then another minute opening it. So doing so would release pressure during the 28 minutes at a flow rate of 13. A total ev uh, eventual pressure release of 28 times 13 is 365. Then you could spend your third minute moving to valve CC and the fourth minute opening it, providing an additional 26 minutes of eventual pressure release at flow rate of 2 <coughs> or 52 total pressure release by valve CC. Making your way through the tunnels like this you could probably open many or all of the valves by the time 30 minutes have elapsed. However, you need to release as much, much pressure as possible so you need to be methodical. Instead, consider this approach. No valves are open, you move to DD. Okay, you, uh, you open it, so the moment that you open it doesn't start to release it. So it takes one minute to move, and then if you open it, it gets started the next minute. Okay, um, so basically you, you take 30 minus the step that you're at, and that will be the amount of minutes that it generates. So if you do it at step two, a uh, minute two, uh, it produces 28 minutes of pressure. So this becomes 28 times 20. You move to valve C. Then you go to B. So you don't take a minute to open it here, but you just move on. Um, Releasing 20 pressure, you open valve BB. Valve B and D are open. Releasing 32 pressure, you move to valve AA. Valves B and D are open, releasing tertiary pressure. Yeah, yeah. Two, 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 two. 
you open that one, then it goes here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So basically you can just, uh, you don't need to do this every time. You just need to track when you opened it and then you multiply that by the times that you, you do that. Okay. This approach lets you release the most pressure possible in 30 minutes. Okay. Work out the steps and release the most pressure, pressure in 30 minutes. What is the most pressure you can release? Okay. So this is like a reverse optimal path thing. Uh, and this is branching code. Um, yeah. Like you want to write this in a recursive fashion, but recursion will lead you into trouble when you do more steps. So you should push this as like a queue. <clears throat> so we'll probably do that. Um, yeah. Let's start with the input as always. And let's do this. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Is this on screen? No, it's a bit too big. Let's make sure that it fits right into the stream window. Same for the bottom. This should be fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we start by cloning day zero into a new day. We call it day 16. Rename this to 16. And I should probably, I said it before, I should probably generate like 25 days beforehand, but yeah, that's okay. Um, I can actually do void solve test. <coughs> I can do input this. Let me just do it like this. Um, bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. Input dot two lines. Uh, let's see. We have an identifier here, which the flow rate, and then this. Um, so basically, we split it in two parts. So if we do, um, let's see, two inputs, then do select x, x dot split by this character here. I can just do a single like this. Um, and then we can do, uh, let me see. So we split that. And we do as so this will give uh, give us two uh, parts here that we can handle individually so the first one we will need to um, we can do uh, return So the first part will be the key, so that will be um, x dot substring. Oh no, let's not do that. Const string um, the key prefix actually is this. Constant key prefix length is key prefix dot length. A static three only, which is fine. So we do substring this comma, uh, and we have a key length constant key length is two. So that is part one, and then we have. Um, String uh, value prefix is this. And we do the same here, except we do 
value prefix. Uh, no, we take value prefix length. And then we do uh, int dot parse uh, x dot substring in this. Then it just goes to the end, which is fine. Um, so that is the first part. And then the second part um, will be um, okay. So this one has a valve or valves, so we need to account for that. Um, so basically, what we do is we take this length and then trim off space and S. Um, or we can get the index of the comma and take minus two and then split that. Uh, but that doesn't have to be one now. Yeah, okay, let's just do it like this. We can just take the valve example and then trim the start because if it will be valves, then it will end up here. Uh, yeah, well, let's just do it like this. Uh, so const string um, valves prefix let's do this. And since we don't include, uh, we don't include the space, so we trim and also match the, uh, the singular. Okay, so let's do it like that. How do you think that length? So this is, that's why it works. Uh, it's not the prettiest, but it works. Uh, so the second part becomes x dot substring uh, this dot trim end dot split comma. Um, and now we have uh, our result. So this is a list of uh, and this is a, a two-part pair. The first one is uh, string key int flow rate. And the second part is a um, keys. Yes. So this is uh, not, no, uh, Let's call it valves. Valves. This. Now we need to do it dot to list at the end. Dot to list. And this is our input map. Okay. So now we need to build a. Uh, now, this is already a mapping. And we should probably build this into a dictionary, actually. Dictionary uh, string uh, like this. And then we do dot to dictionary. Key. You can just do it like this. And this should work, yes. So now we have this as a dictionary where we have a lookup to see where the other things go. <clears throat> um, boom, boom. So we have a, uh, we could replace the, the strings with uh, like bytes and have a simpler lookup to be faster, but I don't think it's that important right now. Um, boom, 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 boom. So we have int uh, max steps is 30. 
int uh, status one. Right, we start at one and nothing happens because we need to make a decision. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is actually track um, hash set string opened valves like this. No, not hash code, hash set. So we need to keep track of the valves that are opened. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so this could be really efficient. Like if you, um, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can use a 16 bit integer and just have bit flags for each valve. And yeah, we could make this very efficient, but let's just take a simple approach for now. Um, so what we need to do is track which valves are open because we can't open them again. Um, and there is no need to, to actually do that. Um, boom, 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 boom. There's no reason why we can't just go to... Oh yeah, because this one will branch out. Um, Basically, we should also find out our targets, which are only the ones that have an actual flow rate. And then we can consider how we get there. Um, because we only have to consider the ones that have a flow rate. Uh, otherwise, they are not a really interesting point. So we let's do uh, var targets is new uh, has set string. Uh, and then we take uh, valves dot where x x dot value dot I don't want that flow rate uh, equals plug in zero select key. Okay, so these are the targets where we want to go to. Um, and then we need to find all the ways how we can get there. Because basically you want like a, well you can't do Dijkstra because you, you're not trying to find the, the cheapest way to go there. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. And you probably also want to go to these uh, in order. Let me think, because you need to find the most efficient way to pass through them so that you can get um, can get all of them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I'll, I will actually just permutate this and then um, get all combinations of how to visit all of them and just try to do that. So. Um, do I have something for permutations? Basically, you need to do a for loop for each of them and then start at the, the lowest index. Uh, let me see. Yeah, get permutation. Cool. So let's see. Uh, targets. Targets not length uh, count. So var uh, options is this. So and now we do for each var options in options console the red line. Okay, let's see. So the 
this will be the string dot join comma so let's run day 16 and see if this is what we need boom input string was not in a correct format okay what's the issue here Ah, yeah, uh, this one needed to be a, like this. I got the wrong character there. B, C, D, E, wait, what? This isn't all the permutations. Let me see, uh, count. Oh, I just need to do it with zero, right? Um, let me see. Okay, I'm not doing something right here. Let me see. For item, item, cancel and yield return item one. Have I used this somewhere? weird that it didn't do what I wanted it to do there. Um, because basically what I expected to do is go like uh, build up all the unique combinations. And it really only returned one, right? That is weird. Okay, let me ch check this code for a second. Because items has six items. I'm not seeing the issue because this code looks like it would work. Let 
Let me just look at this because I'm missing something and I don't know what. Let's see. if I'm going crazy. Um, for each bar B in the new int. One, two, three, four. Get permutations for console the right line. String that format. Uh, no, uh, join. Let me see. Am I crazy? Ah, I need to restrict it to get the... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Um, let me see. Because um, basically I need to do like 4 and i is 0. i smaller than targets dot length uh, count plus i and then in here and I, I nest it and i do 4j is i plus one j smaller than that j plus plus and then you do uh, j k Okay, so now you do, uh, this will just do for the first three. Um, so this one would do uh, targets i. That's the issue. Ah, okay. Um, and then we do two lists, never mind. This makes it easier. I, J, K. See, and then you have all the variations here. Um, but this only... Yeah. The only issue is this is an efficient way to do it. This doesn't give you all the unique routes because it does this. So basically you need to do... Um, yeah, you need to get one uh, that does this for each length and doesn't do it efficiently like this because this only gives you the unique combinations but not the unique orders in which you can visit them. So then you just need to start at the same one. So this one would be uh, this one will every time will just start from zero again, and then you do uh, if i is uh, if j is i continue continue, and then here you do if uh, K is J, continue, uh, and probably also, or K is I, something like this. Um, actually, you need to do this at every level, so you need to check all of the current states and skip them. 
so here you would do um, yes so let me see this would give all the unique ways in which you can do these three and you never repeat any values here so these are all the unique ways in which you can visit those paths uh, the thing is there should be a way to do this <laughs> easily uh, and I thought that was the permutations one but yeah um, So I can write it out here. I, my mind isn't really giving me the way to do this generically for any depth. So I'll just write it out here for now. Uh, and no, that will be a pain because the big list will have way more rules, right? Catch a puzzle input. Yeah. So that is a pain. Still only two letters though, so that's okay. Um, so how do I do that? Let me think. Um, for int i is zero i smaller than targets of count i and then we need to have because basically we need to get all the combinations for each loop um basically we need to get the ones without the forbidden indexes here um, that should be doable um, let's see let me see if I can write this uh, innumerable T um, get the values uh, I know T all, and then we do uh, asset int uh, used indexes. Is that doable? Let's just make this a list. Uh, for each for t in all, no, for if i is zero, i is smaller than all that count. Increment i if used indexes contains i continue yield return all i. Something like that. And now we need to actually do this recursively. Let me think. This needs to branch out let me let me see this is a lot harder than I thought because you need something like uh, I need something similar to the get permutations here uh, let me just google it C sharp get you need com combinations ah 
Oh wow, this is exactly it. Uh, that's not what you want. Do, 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 do. So shall I get all unique orders. Mm. Yeah, this is what we want actually. And this is annoying. Okay, I'm just going to yoink this for now and not worry about it. Let me see. Um, oh, actually, here, let me see. So we do this um, public static i enumerable um, mm, 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 mm. and this is actually not just a string it's a list of string so we <coughs> Basically, you can treat this as a character array here. So we can just do uh, T like this. And this does the same public static T swap T. This becomes uh, an array of T. Things that we just use A here, A. I think this will do it in line though. So we already just pass uh, a to array there. Um, this would actually work uh, as intended now. So let's see. Um, we don't care about this. And we also don't care about this. Uh, like this actually so we yield we turn that and okay like this Let me check this. Um, bom, bom, bom. So before. 
before I do all of this, let me just copy this away. And now we do uh, targets permutate. Um, oh, I put this in the wrong year actually. So let, let me copy this over to the current year's extension. Do, 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 do. And then this becomes this. Uh, of values index last index something like this um, okay and this one becomes uh, is zero is values that length uh, I can't do that, okay. Just like this. Let's build an overload that will just call it uh, values that permutate, and then we do zero comma uh, values that we like minimum. Okay, so that will help us there. Uh, to array. So for each var p in this, let me just do this. And this becomes string dot join, comma p. Okay. B C D F H A. That's not what we want. Let's let me debug this. So we have values to array here. Okay. Let's uh, this. Okay, let me stop this and run it again. So we have this one, PCDA. Okay, and then what does this one give us? It's all the same. So that does nothing because I probably mess up somewhere here. Is that the same? Let me see. Values B, C, D, E, H, J. For int index is I, I just want to. Yeah. But this did. Let me see. This one. Did that even work? That swap? Let me see. So this is zero, zero. What will zero, zero do? Um, so this one will flick around that. Create a new copy of array before changing content. Yeah, that's what I do here, like dot to array. Um, but this one will actually just uh, index plus one. So it will flip over one with that one let me just go here set next statement so this one will be uh, B C D etc so this one will get zero and J will be but why is zero like this swap doesn't make any sense because these indexes are the same um, let's see.
Did I miss something there? Because this first time it does nothing. Okay, so let me just do it again. So now at least it's I, but okay. So now the first two should be swapped, okay. Oh yeah, it does actually do something. But it's actually the temp one that I should return. Because this is 0, 0,1. So this one would flip them back again. Wait. This doesn't make sense because I do the swap here and then I do them back again. So I want to actually return this before I do that. Yeah, I think I want to do it like this and probably also um, for each var r in this yield return r. Okay, let me see. That looks more like it. BCDJ, but it does it double. If I don't do this, then it would never be correct, right? No, that's it actually. Okay, I just do a double there. J, it shifts one over. Okay, because it should give. Um, okay. Okay, getting there. Of our versions is this to array. Console. Part line uh, versions versions count uh, link in this case. We don't need to print them all out. That should at least give us the unique values. So it's 720. Um, let's also write out which ones are actually the ones that we want to take a look at. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So we say uh, valid targets, and then we do uh, targets, no, string dot join. Come on, string dot join. Join. Targets. Like this. So that's uh, two, four, six. So we should have six, uh, six times five times four times three times two. <clears throat> no, six times five times four times three times two is 720, which max ma uh, matches all our versions. Okay. So that's how you get to this number. It's uh, for every single value, you go by one and then you have all the unique combos in which you can visit them. So for our test input, there are 720 different ways that we can walk the path. So that's already a lot of combinations. Um, so yeah, we, we just need to do that now. Um, so basically it's uh, for each bar, uh, Path in versions. Okay, we could actually do a parallel for each. Parallel for each. Uh, and then it becomes inversions, comma, path. 
something like this. So now we can walk all these in parallel because we need to walk all of them to see what the best thing is. Um, and let's just do one and, and get a base feel for it. Um, let's see. Because we need to work backwards on how to get there, actually. So, um, let's see, get path. Um, pom, 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 pom. String current, string target. Ah, this will actually require is path finding, so that is that is <laughs> nice. So we can use Dijkstra for that actually. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So let me see. Um, uh, that, that is interesting as well. Um, so let's see. Um, for each var target in the targets. Uh, what do I call this on? Is backtracking to previous visit node covered in these permutations? Um, basically what I do is you can only open one valve at a time. Uh, one valve in total, right? So what I do is I take all the valves that have a flow rate, so that is a valve that we might want to open, and I keep track of which ones we've opened. So then I just build different priorities so that out of all the options, I just say, okay, now I want to first target A, then I'll target B, then I'll target C, and I'll just find the path from, from those places and just run all the options there. Uh, so it doesn't care about backtracking because it will just know for every point how to get to every other point. And so, so we'll just set our next target and it will know, okay, we're, we're here, now we want to go there. So we move there, open it, do the calculations, etc. So um it, it's it's pretty straightforward in that regard but now i just need to find uh the optimal path from each point to every other point so that basically means that i need to um yeah i need to walk every optimal path there um let's see um so I will pre-calculate every optimal route from every place to every other place. And that includes A plus all the interesting targets. And that will give us um, give us the answer there, actually. Um, so targets text there. Let me see, I, I just written the extension, uh, didn't I? Oh, this is the wrong year. Let me stay in the correct year. Um, I need to abstract this further. probably need to write a different version of this one now. Let me just write it in the year here. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, make this a... Um, because the, the moves that you can do is actually dependent on each other one. Um, Let me think. Let me think how I can alter this because basically we don't have a grid that we navigate, but we have certain point rules. Um, I'm 
basically what we have is a starting point and then a, a end target check so we can do that we have um, visited So we can also make this a like move uh, funk um, string, and this returns a string array of moves. Get moves. Um, Where do we have visited? Uh, to, 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 to. So this basically comes. Um, let me see because T here. Um, we don't have a, a map here, but we do have an. How do I do this? Um, Also T. Everything is T here. We don't care about rows, calls, or whatever. Um, we care about steps taken because we need to find the shortest way to get somewhere. Um, bum, bum. Priority queue, this will be uh, also T and the steps taken. also here yes that's good um, visited also becomes just this actually um. Because we need to walk in reverse. I'm not sure if I can do that one. Um, if that works. Let me just remove this. Uh, visited with uh, steps taken, and this one becomes get moves, and we call actually target. Okay. Um, yes. Basically, it just becomes if we haven't visited this one yet. Target val, we also don't care about that. Uh, we need to do is valid move. move. Um, well, we don't care about that actually. Um, we can just pass move three times here because uh, the is valid move is always correct. Um, bum, bum. here is and this will return uh, move we don't care uh, 
otherwise we add Q uh, like this. So we don't care about this at all. I think this one should be it. Um, we don't care about that. So let's see if we can do... Um, let's just find... Uh, what was the test input here? Let's find a... Uh, from A to J or whatever, yeah. Let's find a way from A to J. Um, so we do Dijkstra. Um, and then we do... Uh, um, mm, 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 and then we do... Uh, how do we call them? Vowels. Vowels. X dot. Uh, uh, it's, it's annoying that it doesn't preserve the actual nice naming here. So let me just do uh, like uh, func string this. We get valve, uh, yes, key, does this work, uh, valves, key, Jesus Christ, it's okay, that's annoying. Um, so it doesn't preserve the named state here. Um, so I wonder if I should just turn this into a record, but I don't have, oh, that's annoying. Um, okay. So let's do valves x as this dot wait what oh i'm an idiot never mind did you see what i did wrong here i didn't name this first part uh and this is the uh valve okay never mind i am an idiot okay um so we do valves x does valve dot uh, key uh, no actually dot keys that's the uh, that one the start is a a is valid move uh, so a b c True, we can actually remove that, and uh, this is uh, target. Target is uh, JJ. Right. Ah. Something like this. So far, uh, ah, and then we also need to know the exact path that it took. That's something that I'm not tracking right now. So in uh, distance is this. Um, yeah, so let's change that in this uh, list string moves. Uh, actually, list t moves. Okay, um, so that's annoying. So our Q is actually not just this. So this becomes T pass. Uh, 
visited. Actually, it's the visited. Uh, no, it's the path that it took. Let me see. Um, bum, ba, da, ba, ba. So let's update this as well. Uh, we need to name this uh, state. No. Oh, and I also need to name it here. <laughs> Data boss. Okay. Um. Let me think. this uh, targeted state of position Is it a list? Whatever. What did I say it was? Visited. To list. To list. That should be good, right? Um, and then. Target.state. Visited. Okay, let me see if this is correct. And then I'm not going crazy here. Far distance, so we can control that right line. And then we do blah, blah, path, blah, steps, blah. Okay. So we do uh, AA. Actually, it's AA to JJ. Path is distance that moves. Uh, so we do string that join. this and then no distance dot moves yes uh, uh, wait is that the yes that is the amount of moves and this becomes distance dot uh, distance so let's see if this works boom keynote found exception there is no dd in Valves? Wait, what? How is that possible? There is a DD. Wait. That doesn't make sense. Here is DD. Quick watch. Oh, there's a space before it. Um, 
pa, 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 pa. Okay. Let me see. Ah, I need to trim those results here. Okay. Ah, I can do it split by. Okay, that should fix that. Are we happy now? Okay. No, we're not happy. To array. Okay, to list. Okay, wait, what, do, what is the actual complaint? Because it says something. I knew real string does not contain the definition for to array. That's weird. Pretty sure it has one. Uh, error list. I know real string does not contain a definition of two error. Am I crazy? Oh, did I write something wrong? Okay, I probably had it. Ah, to Arari. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, the destination values in order. Yes. Uh, and it still has a space there. Wait, what? Okay, from DD. Ah, oh, the first one still has a space. Okay, Jesus Christ. Um, Hmm. Wait, let me check this. Yeah, name is, yeah, it has a leading space. I'm just trying to find out why. Because if I do this, trim end, it should trim out the space. Right? You'd expect trim. Uh, Trims. I don't need to trim and I need to trim start. Ah. Yeah, never mind. It's the end that I'm looking at, but it's the start from the new string. So, yeah, that's the stupid mistake by me. I'm sorry for that. Okay. So basically it says it can go from A to I and then to J. So there's an, an additional step here that I'm not showing. Should, I should probably add that there. Um, so I should just add this last uh, thing here. So we do uh, target.state.visited.add. Since we return here, it, it doesn't matter. So I can do um, Do I want to do this? Because basically it will just not return the final step that you're on, so I can just add it here. Um, so basically we do distance dot moves dot add. Like this. So yeah, that's fine. Um, so let's do this for each target now. So we do uh, for each target and target. Let's just write out the path to those. Okay, or not. And we start from AA every time, and the target will be target here. Uh, we should call this just T, target is target, and I know this isn't the cleanest right now because I, I modified this, uh, I butchered it actually, but uh, yeah, it's fine. So let me run this and it should spit out from A every path that we need to take to get there, right? Um, and we should probably actually prioritize based on uh, the least amount of steps 
and then uh, the, the biggest value or the amount of sub stations that we hit on our way there. But yeah. Um, so let, let's just run this naively, right? So now we have a um, dictionary. Um, mm -mm -mm. This is just from A. We don't care about that. We need to go actually between all of the, the paths. So we have a string. No, we have um, we have a list of from string from string from string to uh, list string or just an, a string array. We don't care. Uh, string steps. Uh, and this is our nav system is new blah. Right? So let's see uh, if our nav targets is targets.comcat AA, which is our begin step. So now we do uh, for each var uh, nav target in nav targets. Now we do a sub loop here. Actually, this can just be A and this can be B. If A equals B, continue. And then we do this. Uh, this becomes A, B, B, A. B like this, um, and then we do, 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 do. What's the issue here? Okay, I'll check in a bit what that, what the issue is there. To array. I'll check. Let me just finish this uh, and I'll write it out. So this will be our nav, nav, how do I call it? Nav system.add and it will be a, b and then distance dot moves. Right, this will build out our full nav system, uh, point to point nav system. Let's see, this is a list we do to array, also fine. Okay, why is it complaining? Var, var. Okay, what's the issue here? Does it know? Nav targets. Okay, this one doesn't compile. So we have a string array here. Concat. Okay, why not? Because that should just be a link statement. So we do a to list. Can we do that? That's weird. Target is a hash set, uh, no, is, is an array, okay? Uh, so what was the issue there? Can I do concat now? To array. Does it like it now? There's something weird here. Let me just remove this uh, and this should also be just a string array like this. Let me just make sure that this compiles and then I'll see what the actual error is because there's something weird going on. Does it show me an error? Sure, yes. It's a zero length array rebuild. By the way, did you do Advent of Code today? BOHS 2000? So this compiles now. So what is the issue with trying to. Ah, uh, new, never mind. New string. Uh, 
Does it like this? And then back to array. Are we happy now? Okay, Jesus. Um, so now that we have done this, we can actually uh, console that right line. Nav parts. Nav system dot cat. Zero. <laughs> okay, why didn't it add them? Just starting trying to get my head around it. I work in Java, so space complexity is important. Okay. Ah, I didn't do the add here. Using smaller inputs and shorter times to debug. Yes. So we have 42 path navigation. So we now basically have everything optimized away so that we can just uh, ask our system to do what we want here. Um, so now we could actually do this and then see what the, the best uh, thing is. Um, so let me just do a... Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Int calculate uh, pressure released and then we do uh, string destinations and result zero return result Int max steps. Okay. Uh, int step is one, while step smaller equal to max steps. Actually, we could start at zero and just do this. Boom. Um. Let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. And uh, we can also do these like this. Uh, and then uh, destination index is zero. Okay. String next. Uh, Destination is destinations. Destination index and uh, next, no, no, destination index smaller than destination count. No. Sure. So now we need to, um, let's see, each each move takes one step. So we do, um, path is nav, uh, we also need to feed it this, our nav list, uh, our nav system actually. Um, Oh, we need to build a dictionary from that, uh, like a from A to B, um, and this one will be, uh, actually I could just make this a dictionary, string, comma, and then this. And that is not true. Let me see. Let's go back. Because we need to actually um, group by. So after this is done, we do a nav system dot group by x. 
2. And then we do x to dictionary. Mm. Oh, no, just like this. Then we do uh, to dictionary key. Now we do x. Uh, and for the value, we also do x uh, to dictionary. Y, y dot from. So we do uh, var not look up this. And now we have a dictionary that we can check easily all the paths. Um, so now we can do, uh, let's specify this type so that I can pass it. To this step, so yeah, that's our nav lookup. Probably should make that global in a bit, uh, and we do current location. Oh no, actually, we always start from AA. But okay, let's say string start. So this becomes nav lookup start. Uh, no, actually, no. Uh, next destination from start. And then we do steps, okay? Let's see. So this one tells us where to go. Uh, and we need to skip the first one actually because this one will be uh, skip one, skip one, two, three. Because this one will have the, the, the path that we started from and we don't need that. Okay, so we do uh, for each uh, path, step in path, we increment step. Ah, uh, okay. And then we say, um, we actually need to have a location. So we do string location, this start. So this one should actually be like this, location. And then we do location is, um, next destination which should also be like the last piece in this one um, actually you can do path path dot length minus one um, boom, 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 boom. and now we can do um, if step smaller than Max steps. Oh, no, actually we do uh, production count. Production count. So now we do production count is max steps minus step. If production count uh, margin zero. We can actually trace out the full values here. Let's just do that just for debugging. So we do list uh, string uh, val int start step and open step int total produced uh, open val is new this and let's drop this in a var so that we don't repeat that and now we can do the add and this one will be uh, boom, 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 boom. this one will be location 
step and then we do production count times and then we'll, we'll need the actual valve info that we don't have here. I should probably make this just global by now. So let's just expose it here. And then we remove this line, okay. Now we can say uh, valves uh, location dot valve dot flow rate okay Whew. Uh, we can also add this to the result actually um, so let's do local result so we have local result is this and then we add local result here and then we do result plus is this that okay um, boom, 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 boom. and we can return this entire thing as our result actually so we can do end result uh, details like this so we can do result comma open valves So now we can do uh, calculate pressure released. And then we have uh, AA. I should put this in a constant by now. Um, path. And then now look up. Okay. What's the error here? There is no argument given a common nav lookup. Okay, what did I do? Ah, I need to specify the max steps. Okay, max steps. Did I define that here? Yes, I did. Max steps. So we do var uh, we sub result is this. So we do um, print best result is no print min value actually we can just do it like this best result is zero no okay uh, let's make this in min value and min value okay um Let's make sure that we don't do uh, like this. Can I even, I can do it like this, right? Can I nest check things? Okay, cool. Um, I should probably put that one here like this. So now at least I will know if it overflows. Do I have too many? Yes, I do. Let's make this cleaner. And then result is result plus local result. I vowed that I would also do it, always do it checked in this case, just so that I don't uh, screw myself over there. Um, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, so we do if sub result dot result larger than best result dot result. Best result is sub result. Uh, we can actually announce it every time so we can do a uh, console uh, console but right line um, let's actually also add the path to the result
let's just give it back in a way so that we can easily track it like that. Cool. Um, so this one becomes uh, this. Uh, let me do a new string zero here because I will string join. Um, and then I can say um, new best result versus this pass versus this. Okay. So now we get uh, sub result dot result versus best result of result and then uh, it becomes uh, sub result dot uh, destinations and this becomes a string that join let me just and this will be a long line forgive me like this versus best result Okay, so I'm very curious to see if and how this works. That would be dope. Um, so yeah, let, let's see. Boom, okay. So the best result is 2,835 in, in favor of uh, 405. And let's see if that is actually the value that they have as well. I don't think so, but yeah, they have 1651. So let's see what our issue is here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, I also need to add some locking there, by the way, just so that the parallel... Uh, yeah, so let's do uh, var lock is new object. Um, and we do lock uh, let's do it like this so this means that the checks at least all happen nicely uh, so that we don't get all those dupes uh, and let's see, we say that this is our best path and we skip the first one actually, the AA in here. So let's see. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, maybe I break somewhere, uh, break too late somewhere. So let's see, the priority that they have is B, C, D, E, H. Uh, okay, wait, they, let me see, they move to D, so that's what we also have here, D, then to C, then to B, and then I go to E and not A, so they move to A, let's see. Let me write down the, the way that they do it and, and see if we do something differently. So A, A, D, D, C, C, B, B, A, A. Um, yeah, that's not an issue. I, I, J, J. I, I, A, A, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, H, H, G, G, F, F, um, D, E, D, D, C, 
CC. Then you do nothing. Let's say, okay. Let's see. They So they do DD, BB, JJ, HH, EE, CC. So this is their path that they say is the most efficient. Um, bom, 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 bom. So let me just write out all of the, the paths here, uh, just so that I know what I'm doing wrong. Um, Because I think we're really close. And I should probably also do the exact visited path there, but yeah, let me just... Uh, I can write that out as well. So let me just not print this one. And I just do best result. This would be best result okay let me run this again and now we copy all of this and then inspect what it thinks of it if only there were a few bars here So yeah, let's uh, open a new notepad. Okay. And let's see if we can find this one. Actually, oh, I was doing that, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my bad. I was writing all of that down and you couldn't even see it. Okay. So basically what I need to find is this one. Okay. And it's 4,200 for me. So that one is, that value is incorrect. So let's figure out how we can fix that. And that is, may, may, might be because we have a faster path or that our path is incorrect. Let's see. Um, so basically this one, right? Yeah. So let me just do something that's called uh, void print path. String, uh, yeah, string uh, destinations. Okay. So now we do uh, for int is uh, one i smaller than destinations that length. I um, and then we need to get our nav thingies. Uh, this nav look up here, and let's see if we did something wrong there. So we do a uh, string from two from is uh, destinations i minus one. Two is destinations i. So now we do a string uh, if our path is nav lookup from nav lookup uh, two. So now we do um, from this to there is this. So we do from two, and then we do a uh, string dot join. And then we do a uh, path. And then we do 
sprint path like this. Uh, and of course this starts as AA dot split this to array okay so let's run this and compare that whole thing what is the error a comma is inspected here sure that better Uh, okay, let me see what I did wrong here. Ah, okay, path got steps. Let's try it out again. Ah, it has it in reverse. That's weird. Yes, okay. So my nav lookup has the steps in reverse. That is fine. Uh, no, wait. Um, the issue here cannot convert dictionary string string mm -hmm. ah, okay um. So we just know that we need to do it in reverse now. Okay, reverse. Um, final references there. Let me do that here as well. Dot reverse. Let's skip one to array. Okay. So now, do we get a better result? Okay. Best result zero. That's not good. Wait. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, did I uh, actually? Never mind. Uh, I have this one split up. Um, yeah, never mind. I was an idiot. I had the values the wrong way around. Um, so let's see, this is the path that my code takes. Is it the same as, let me see. So let's see, it should be the same like this. actually does come up with the perfect path. So that is good. Now it's just the scoring that I need to, uh, to figure out. So that is really cool to see that actually the, uh, the path finding, etc. that is all good. And my cappuccino is cold by now, but I'm, I'm having fun. I think this is one of the most fun challenges that I've done so far. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. <coughs> <coughs> Um, bom, 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 bom. Um, so yeah, let me see steps there. Uh, so it's actually the calculate pressure release thing that is wrong. So, um, 
basically we do uh, if destinations dot join uh, let's see if if string dot join destinations equals this and I know this is highly inefficient but I don't care Console, right, right. it's the easiest way to target this and it's also faster than having a uh, conditional breakpoint so let's do this okay so now we need to step through this and figure out why this is wrong so step is one right now okay the path is one move to D and then we're at step two let's see um, so this is how we can follow along let me just put it to the side here um, production count so we'll do 28 times this and that should be correct because it will be from minute 3 to minute 30 it will keep adding 20 So what I can also do is, um, let's see, bool print every step is this, cool, if uh, print every step, printing every step, okay, let's do that, um, boom, 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 boom. So let's see. Um, so I can also do int uh, production this is zero. Okay. So now we do uh, console that right line. Step production now production All right we do the same here um, yeah why not Let's see. No, we do it here. We do it here. Um, then we do uh, production. Okay. So let's set a breakpoint here. <coughs> Wait. Oh, I need to. I need to make this conditional. Jesus. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. So now, if I go to here, it should have printed all the things. Uh, Oh, this is parallel for each. Damn it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I should probably just debug the, the actual version there. Um, so yeah, let me just do that. Let's do that. Okay, so let's see how this goes. 
So we put this here and then we compare it. Um, so at step three, it jumps to 20, so that is good. Ah, but here it's wrong. At step six, for us at step five, we, we go up and that's not correct. Ah, I also need to increase this. I, I have my mistake. My first mistake is not increasing um, for opening it. Let me see. Um, so to open it, we also need to increase the step. Um, is that true though? Let me see. So here, we from A, we move to B. So there, let me see. Um, the first step is the move. Then the second step we do open. Let's see. Um, Let's see about how much it's off by here. So this start at the sixth one and then at the tenth one. So we do it at five and the next one is at nine. So we're just off by one there again. No, we do it at, let's see. It jumps here and it jumps here. So we go A, I, J, and then, hmm. Let me check if this does something. If I just did it like that. Um, It didn't print step six. I, I should print here. Let's do it like that. Let's see. Now it should jump at step six and then at step ten. But we we step way sooner, so that's not correct because we figured the path, and it was a. Um, Let's see, where is my notepad? It should do two moves there, right? Let me see. Um, let me check. Because we validated this whole thing. So, you move to D. That's this one. Then you open it. Okay, then you move to C, then you move to B, and then you open it. So, so here you open the first one, then you move two times, then you open it and it gets started here, so that's correct. Then you move. Uh, doo, 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 doo. By the way, the values here are wrong, so I still need to figure out why it adds. Uh, it keeps adding twenty. Um, so let's let's first do that. By the way, uh, because the value that it adds here, the value of the flow rate is location and location is always the last part here. Okay, so that's not good. Ah, okay, I messed that up here. Next destination, location.
Let me check this once again, just to make sure. Oh, I never update path here, probably. Okay, let's kill that. Let's run it. Let's see, because path is, yes. So that one means that I'm now at D. So that is good. But I also need to uh, update the destination index. Okay, I'm an idiot there. So now I do plus plus destination index and path becomes like this. Uh, no, if smaller than uh, destinations, path is uh, destinations, destination index. That also helps. But what's the issue here? Ah, uh, yeah, let me just do this. Yeah. Let's update this. So next destination. Do, 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 do. Oh, What's the issue here? Oh, I need a uh, else. Um, Oh, we should probably update this after. Great. Because we added all the logic and then it's good. Okay, so let's check this again. And now I'm off, right? Yeah, let's see. Now I should remove the last one here, this one. I think that now it should be correct. So just let me check. It's always nice to debug these things. Um, pom, 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 pom. Zero, zero. Then at minute three, we go to 20. Then at minute six, we go to 33. Okay. Then at minute 10, we go to 54. Cool. And then at minute 70, uh, 76 is at minute 18. That's also correct. Then we go to 97 at minute 22. It's also correct. And then at minute 25, we go to 81. Okay, let's see why is my breakpoint there. Um, Oh yeah, I need to... Let's see. Um, we do pop is uh, new string, zero. So we do um, if pop dot length library zero, then we do this. Basically, we, we do keep printing every step there. Uh, and in the new logic, we can, we can actually break. So we could else if print every step, else break. So we can exit early there. Um, oh, wow. What's that? So why does it stop there? That, that's not good.
Okay, let me step through this because I don't understand why it does this. Ah, destination index. Yes, uh, we don't need to care about that anymore. Because I fixed that already with this exit loop here. So now it should print all the values up to here. Yes, so at step 25, we move to 81. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, now that we've done that, we should be able to run the code. Uh, let's run this and run this as well. And let's see what it spit out. 1651. And I do believe that is the correct input. Woo! Uh, output, I mean. So yeah, let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves. Let's try the actual input now. Um, except that I've put all this here in the test case which I shouldn't really have done. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me just copy paste this now into part one. Uh, and instead of this, we do it like this. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I'm happy because this is pretty cool stuff. Uh, and I think it's still all the same. Let's not print out. Uh... Let's remove this one here. Um, and let's also remove this one. We can do this. And let's have some fun seeing valid targets. Oh, Jesus. Please don't tell me that I made a boo-boo. <clears throat> it looks like it's not having fun somewhere. <sighs> Where is it actually waiting? Oh, it's doing the permutations here and it's not having fun. F me. <laughs> so yeah, how many are these? Uh, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that gets uh, 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Jesus Christ, those are a lot of permutations. So yeah, um, that's not good. <laughs> hmm. That's annoying. Um, okay. Let me think, because now I need to reduce this search space. Oh man, I'm so annoyed <laughs> that I got all of that working with, with lots of clever stuff, in my opinion. And then I just run into the fact that this just generates too much combinations. Mm -mm. Okay. Let me think. Um, what if we say we limit this to six items actually? Um, because this is 15, but there's no way that you can actually visit that many. So we should actually get the permutations of the values that you can visit. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, let me go back to the input, the test input, and see if I can find something smart about it here. Um, because it probably has to do with getting the biggest versions first, right? So D is 20 and H is 22. Um, actually, because the value for every one of those is actually um, the distance that you need to go to get there, that's the lost time. Try to figure out if there's a way to do this better. Also, um, mm, 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 mm. like the, these permutations, they should stop when you're out of valid targets. Um, oh man, this is so... Because this path, this distance is probably further than you can traverse, right? Um, <laughs> So we should also just permutate with within max range. Um, yeah, so this is annoying. Um, How do I do this? Because basically I need to know when to stop generating permutations because the path isn't even um, a viable thing. The thing is, there is so much stuff that you can do because, as you see here, I don't even need to uh, do the loops because I can calculate like the total lifetime value given on which step it starts. I'm just I'm just thinking if there is a way for me to get like the permutation thing um And also I need like a uh, I I need like the reverse of this that it always just continues with the best I'm just 
trying to figure out is there a way for this to know what the best route is. And I'm so bummed out right now because I figured I've done so much of the hard work already. I have all the navigations cached. I know all the best paths to take between nodes. I just don't know what my sets should be. And something tells me that you should start with prioritizing the first, uh, the first few. Maybe I should just actually take like the first three or something. Let's see. Um, because that's something that I can do actually. Um, and I should probably try to do that with the test case first. Uh, where is the text of T? So we do this and then we return. Okay. So instead of permutating all the options here, um, versions, let's actually say um, targets.permutate and then we do three. Oh, two array. Does that work? like this okay let's see if I do this oh, let me just kill this because it was dying <clears throat> um, does this yield the best start so in this case DHJ is the best here right uh, let's see <clears throat> Because we are looking for DBJ. Uh, let's see. Does DBJ even exist here? Probably not. Let's see, versions. Now we can remove that other dot two array one like this. Okay. So let's do that again. Because we were looking for DBH, I think, right? Um, Uh, no, DBJ. Okay, so it's this one, but we need to get a permutation of all the permutations of that to do that. Okay, so what we can do is actually... Um, I can do it like this, bear with me, so I can do get permutations 3, um, mm, 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 mm. because then I need to get the reverse order of those. Is this what we need? 
Yeah, because now we have 120. Okay. So let me see. Where is my code? Best result DHJ. Um, DBJH, okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. How close are they actually? Um, so let me see. What if I do this to four? Is that enough to get a proper sample size of the best one? JDHB, fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, later steps do take it to cut. Okay, let me just figure something out first because I will need to um, do this and I want to have all the paths in the result. So I do a uh, list. Actually, no, a dictionary string int pass is like this. Uh, outcomes. Let's see this. Um, that add and then let's do a string e is this. Uh, Oh, it's actually just this right okay outcomes that add key comma sub result dot uh, result okay key oh. oh I can just do key here so that they don't have to do it twice key Yes, and now I can do um, outcomes order by descending, not descending, x, x put value uh, for each. Alright, yeah, uh, this. Let's start take uh, 10. Console that right line. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And let's do uh, uh, o key o value. Okay. How can it have the same value? That's weird. See versions. Where do we do that? Uh, so I can do that distinct. Fine by that. That should not be possible. Versions. Three sixty. Ah, uh, yeah. Two by X. <clears throat> okay, 
so if I do this now, stop, how many do I get? What's the issue now? I grouping string of string array. better well three layer deep now How do I get rid of that? Is this the correct type now though? I don't think so. See. Yeah, from string that, that adds a level too much. Um, let me see. Let me see. Is this the correct nesting now? Still says an I grouping. That's annoying because this one should not do that. Do I now have my? I knew we'll string array versions. Bum, bum. Okay, I'm missing something here, let me see. <clears throat> because I want to make sure that I don't, uh, I remove duplicates here. Oh, okay. So now do I have my type correct? No. It's still an enumerable of string. How come uh, this is still wrong? Let me see. I get the permutations. I do that. I try to group by the unique key. This one adds another level, so that's not correct. Uh, let's see, permutate. That returns an innumerable string. Yeah. So this one returns a multi-dimensional string, uh, and I got more spam. Okay. Hide. Okay. Let's remove that. <coughs> um, let me see. At this point, I have an I enumerable, so I can do two array. So if I do this, versions is just a multi dimensional array. It's an array odd, but that's the wrong kind. Let's see. No, I need to have it like this. No. 
Jesus Christ. Um, oh, yeah, I need to have like this. That was the issue there, okay? So we have x2 array, yes. So this is a list of string and we permutate that. And we do that to array as well. Let's see if we can do it like this. Are we now finally in the place where we need to be? I think so. So let's see, this one to array will select many. Is it now unwrapped? No, because the select many will return an enumerable of enumerable string, but this is all already an array of enumerable because X is this unpacked now. <laughs> this is a multi-dimensional string array. So if I this no do I need another select menu So hard to unpack here. Let me see because this is an iron numerable of this. What's SX here in this case? Okay, so this one returns already is an okay, select many. So this one returns a list of string. Okay, to array. Do we now have a, no, Jesus Christ, why can't I figure this out? Um, so let's first get the permutations, var perm is this, then we do uh, for each var perm in uh, var p then perm, this should already be like an array, right? Yeah, that's an iron numeral of string, okay, so now we do um this this and now we need to make sure um we can just do a dictionary string comma string array uh permutations unique I'm probably missing something, but I'm just going to do this so that I can move along because this is effing annoying. Um, so we do string uh, for each bar uh, sp in sub terms. Uh, string key is string the join. Empty string comma sp and do the if not 
You need permutation. No, you need permutation. Contains key. Key. Now we add it. Add uh, SP. Uh, key come up with this. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of annoyingness. So now we can do a var versions is unique permutations dot values to array to array. And now all the code should be happy if I do this one correctly. Okay, let's see. Can we now build? And I wonder how many unique permutations we have now. Trying to find that one out. Okay, let's run this. And now we have how many? Zero. What the? F oh, uh, let's do it. If not contains. Jesus, it's getting too long. I'm making stupid mistakes now. It's still 360. Okay. So how can we get the error, this one? Because we don't have the starting path there, right? Isn't that it? <clears throat> B, C, D, E. And what are versions in this case? Ah, it's not destinations. It should be path here. Um, this is the key. Because this is all that we care about and not this one okay so I did all of that work for nothing in the last what is it 15 minutes just because I messed that one up how is this possible this is like the third thing that it adds and it already messes up. So it should not be able to have B, C, D, E, B, C, D, E, wait, what? B, D, C, E. So the first two are already the same. B, C, D, E. Okay, so how can... How come this one has the same array? That's crazy. How can the key be different from what is added here? Um, this is... This doesn't make any sense to me. an innumerable thing that just f's up or something ah uh, it, it gets re de Why does it have so many dupes here at the start? B, C, D, E, B, C, D, E. 
like the first three, four are all the same, the first four. Um, Now we have 180, okay. So are they different now at least? B, C, D, E, B, D, C, okay. Okay. So here we have a few of the best parts. And I'm just trying to see if, if I can use this to find a candidate for the uh, the thing that we need because we need to have um, DBJHEC is the answer. So let's see if DB, DBJ is in here and it's not. Let's see. Let's see how our best value scores here. Um, so we take all of these values here. Uh, it's not in there. Why? How can it not be in there? It's not even considered. What? There's nothing that starts with H. HDBJ. Why is that permutation not in there? Am I crazy? Hmm. Because these are all the unique combinations, just not uh, sorted, and I should probably just get the all the the versions out of that. But yeah, let me see. We're looking for DBHJ. Uh, yes, DB uh, DBJH. So it should start with D. Uh, no, actually B, and then D. HJ, so this is BCHJ, so this one might be BDHE, no, BDEJ, BDHJ, okay, so this one is the ver version that we need, right, BDHJ, so I would expect that if we get the permutations out of that, so let's see if I do, um, um, eight dot two array eight yes okay do, do we do that dot two array so this is our target if I do permutate I would expect something that starts with let's uh, D DBHJ. There is actually the value that we want. 
DBHJ. Okay. So why isn't that in our values here? Um, so if I run through here. So if I do dbhj uh, ddbb hh jj, it's in there. Okay, so why wasn't it printed in the output? Am I going crazy here? Probably, but... That's beside the point. Let me see if I can select it all. Um, ah, that's useful. Let's see. Select all. Copy. Okay. So we're looking for this part. And let me move this into view. And it says it's not in there. Isn't that weird? How can that one not be in there? I don't get that at all. Um, let me see. Let's skip the parallel for each for now. So we do for each far path in versions. Let's do it like this. Let's see if that helps. Select all. Copy. Let's do that and let's try again. Cannot find it. What the? <laughs> I don't understand that at all. What's going on here? Um, int i is zero. Should give 180 of those, right? Yes. Okay. And what was the index that we found before? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me see. Ah, oh, wait. Um, no, that shouldn't be the issue. Um, let me see. Versions. Yeah, but let me check where was the dictionary again. Unique permutations. Index. No. Uh, Again, D 
DDJH. Okay. DDBBJJHH. Enumeration yielded no results. What? Didn't I just check that this was in there? I feel like I'm going crazy here. Um, because perm 8, let's see. Quick watch, perm 8 to array. Let me just do select x, x up to array. Maybe it's just an innumerable thing that messes up here. Let me see. So perm eight. <sighs> really? Perm eight B uh, D B H J okay, and then this one. Uh, boom 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 boom. Would it be there now? <laughs> so let's see. Uh, D D B B H H J J. Now it's in there. Okay, what the? So I think there's something going really weird with the the I enumerables there. So, but yeah, let's see if we can figure this out. Let's yet again do. Uh, select all, copy, go back here, and we have ddbb, DB. Uh, let me just take this one actually here, okay, I don't understand this at all. So what I don't understand is how it can be in the array here and not actually be processed later on. So that that's just really weird. So if I do the unique indexes here, D D V V H A J J. It exists. Okay. So versions uh, versions Okay. Uh, in version is versions that where x string dot join x equals to this one single. Am I crazy? Let's run this. It exists. DBHJ. Okay. So how come when I do this, 
let's see. Do, 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 do. Does the path get altered there? Let's see if key equals to this console right line. Maybe it gets mutated because I pass it to here. Um, so that could be the case. Man, this is a pain to debug. Anybody still here watching? <laughs> Uh, let me check. Um, I was testing this. Okay. Let me restart this. No. So for some reason, when I get to here, how is this possible? So we have our versions. There is in array here, dbhj and dbhj, right? It exists here. And then for some reason, when I start walking this, this one never comes up. How is that possible? I don't get it at all. Uh, because there's no break in here. And even if I run these outcomes, there should be 180 as well there, right? Let's see, outcomes. There's 180 outcomes there. So how is it possible that the key that I'm looking for does not exist. Oh, because it's in the other order, dbjh. Okay. dbjh, okay, I'm doing this the wrong way around. Oh man. Okay, so they, for some reason, that one doesn't get created. Okay. So let me see. Um, I can do something with that. Ah, okay. Um, so this one is actually... This one... Oh yeah, this this one is the one with the the, the correct values. Sorry. And then we do permutate. Let's see. dbhj and I need to find one that says dbjh but it it spits out the same values here so that uh, the permutate here is incorrect so yeah this this permutate function is just not really what we want it to do. Um, so I probably messed that one up. How do I fix that one? Dun, 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 dun. Let me see. So the root is that this one doesn't give me all the permutations that I need. So let me see. Um, Uh, 
So, uh, I enumerable string. Let's see. Uh, values. So I need to keep track of the the ones that we've used. Um, Is that correct, what I'm saying? Because basically what you want to do is you do a for each, for each uh, string value and values, and then you want to get a level deeper and not return the one that we have here. Um, so if not used contains value, Return value. Um, but you want to, uh, let me see. This is tripping me up so bad. Um, because you want to nest it for how many there are in there. Let's see. Uh, just let me Google it because I'm not getting anywhere. Get unique. Uh, per, no, get all permutations. Isn't this basically what I already did? How does this differ from mine? Oh, I should only return there. Let's see. So how does this differ here? I need to do it. This only does the. Uh, let me see. Just return values. Uh, This isn't correct, let me see. Mm. So each R in permutate. Yeah, that's the same thing. We return it. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, let me just try <laughs> try this one because I'm I'm getting nowhere with this. Let's see. Get permutations. What does this do? List and return get permutations. Uh, let me stop running this right now and copy the source for here. Let me see. Get permutations. Like this, uh, bum, 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 bum. let's see if this helps me in any way because I'm, I'm getting so lost in this by now, it's really not fun anymore. Um, and I was really happy with everything that I coded so far, so let's see. Um, let's get rid of all of this. And do var versions is targets that permutations um, for action. What does this want here? What did the extension want? Oh, it needs to be public. And it needs to be this, so that it's an extension for me. So let's see if that does it. And we do to array. This becomes now an i neural string. Okay, we don't want that. So we do select x, x to array, to array. Okay, so now we should have our um, do we want that? But this is, let's see, the, the X here is already enumerable, right? Of string, so I can do it to array. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is correct. Uh, let me see how much versions it spits out and then if it has the ones that we need. Okay, what is the issue now? String doesn't care to permutate. Okay. Um, because that is the, the other code, okay. Let me fix that too. Error list. Okay, let's run this again. Three sixty. Okay, makes sense. D does it have my Let's see. It should have this this one, J H. Let's see if it has this one. T P J H. Okay. Okay, finally. God damn. <clears throat> this has been annoying. So annoying. But. Okay. Let's see what we come up with. Uh, let's select everything. Copy it. Okay, so let me see if this one is in here now. Yay, it's in here. Okay. Best result is actually that part. Let's go. Okay, so that makes sense. 
so we can actually do a smaller part and then do the remaining oh jesus christ oh, i should have saved that i'm an idiot but yeah okay uh man Whew. okay uh let's see oh jesus i actually it's it's 12 o'clock already let me see damn this is taking so much longer than expected um so yeah let me just get rid of all of this stuff uh i just need to be sure that i uh i stop in 50 minutes so that i can pick up the kids from school <laughs> jesus uh okay 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 so now we can just do this and i wonder if i take three if that also returns in the best path so if i change this to permutations three let's see if it also spits out that best start there no it doesn't Best result is one, four, two, three. And it did that part. So it's A to G. So, okay. Um, not bad. Let me just see. Because um, I'm wondering now. Um, so four was enough to get the best path, but who knows if that's true in the real world as well. Um, but but we can actually get six permutations and then um, get the best out of that and just continue with that and maybe that will give us the best path so let's see boom yeah so if we stick to six we already get that two four six um so i wonder what if we let's see do 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 uh print path where is part one? Let's see. Um, get permutations. Let's do six. Okay, so that ran. Um, Okay, so now we have a best path there as well. So what we should do now is probably figure out um, I actually wonder how many steps we can take. Best result. So I wonder at these places when we stopped moving. Um, so yeah. Jesus, this is uh, exciting. Calculate pressure released. Um, let me see. We want to know when we hit here. Basically, it's this. So we can say uh, int uh, last move. Is max steps, actually. Otherwise, we can say um, bum, 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 bum. So let's also add that to the result here. Just informational. Um, and then we can do best result. And last move. Okay. 
should be fine now. Why doesn't it like this? Um, and that and and. result so this one doesn't return that here let me see uh, int sub result oh no it's a uh, last last move uh, let's see last move. that should be fine right What is the issue now? Let's undo this because it's not happy. Ah, I need to do it here again. Last move. Okay, that should be fine. And now I can do here, and now let's move. And this becomes max steps. Okay, can we run this now and tell us? Um, boom, 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 boom. I need to fix this in another place because it's two places where this happens. And last move, max steps, okay, I really need to quit in a few minutes because I need to go pick up the kids from school, but yeah, I'm trying to see if I can fix this uh, last step. Just to get a feel for how much more options there are, uh, best result last move. Okay. Let's run this. So this still takes quite a bit of time, so it's not optimal. Okay, so it's very close to the end. So if you do six steps, you probably know which one that you want. The only issue is uh, part B is probably doing more steps. <laughs> so I think that we can figure out um, what the path is that we want to take. Let me run it again. I should have run the test case as well, just to make sure that I still get the right result. Um, so yeah, for me, this means that I need to go here and then do like two or three more steps and see what uh, what works best. But actually what we probably should do is do like an inverse of Dijkstra where we just uh, queue up the path and then do the reverse of a priority queue or maybe make the points negative so that it takes the, the one with the best score first. So I might do that in a uh, when I get some time. So for now I need to end the stream because I need to go pick up the kids. I think I've, I've built so much cool stuff in this thing, but I'm just frustrated that it uh, didn't, it wasn't good enough to get to the, to the answer. So I will follow down this path a bit more to see if I can push this to complete part one, but I'm very sure that this won't work for part two. And maybe I'll try to see if I can write like uh, an inverse Dijkstra to actually just 
walk the whole thing and just go always after the biggest scores. Uh, because what that would do is just go with the best one till we reach the end. Uh, yeah, and I think there is always a way down the path where another one can overtake it and getting to the end with what you think is the highest score might not actually be the highest score. But yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. So I will try to write that function. I don't know if I'll do it on stream. Maybe I'll stream that tonight. Uh, but yeah, so far I want to thank you for uh, keeping me company for the past three and a half hours. Jesus. Um, this was a very cool problem and I really like what I've done. I just wish that I could, uh, could finish it here. So I want to say thank you and uh, hopefully see you for the next one. Bye bye.